Diagnostic Manager provides an in-depth view of the performance of your SQL Server environment. The information collected is stored centrally for trending, retrospective analysis, reporting and more. The deployment of the Diagnostic Manager comes in two parts. First of all, there's a dashboard, which creates a web-based interface for IDERA products. Next, the Diagnostic Manager application will be deployed and configured. During the deployment, you'll be asked for some port confirmation, credentials to start services, and also for a location of the Diagnostic Manager repository. The repository is a central part of the functionality and a single location for data storage. The data in the repository and all real-time information can be viewed in numerous ways. By default, when installation is complete, a management console will be launched, allowing servers to be added and configured for monitoring. In addition to this, there's a web-based console. The Management Console is a .NET application which is feature-rich and fully functional, and it's the first step in adding servers for monitoring and obtaining management data. The next method is the Dashboard. The Dashboard is a web-based, consolidated framework for multiple IDERA products, where you can, for example, see the health of your SQL servers in the same view as your backups and business intelligence performance. Multiple copies of tools such as the Diagnostic Manager are supported through the dashboard, enabling unification of deployments in different departments, sectors and geographic locations. You can find the dashboard on the machine where Diagnostic Manager is installed, located on port 9291 by default, but its location can be identified from the .NET console under the Web Console tab of the SQL DM Today page.